Um, this is my FMP proposal. Uh, this is a bit of context. Uh, just talking about things that I've learned so far, uh, like collaborations. I've learned that um, they can be very time consuming. They can eat into the time that you want to be spending doing other things, but they can produce some of the best music I've done. Anyway, personally. Um, I've learned lots, a lot about track listing and I've written body's music flow. Um, it's more in a sense of, it's not too crazy, but then again, it's not boring. It's a, there is a medium there. And um, I've learned a lot about it. I still need to work on that, but I've learned to order tracks in a good way for the listener. Um, I've learned a lot about writing music, mainly lyrics for the album I did for my FMP. And um, and uh, yeah, just learning how to write consistently well in quick succession. Um, uh, yeah, I learned a lot about live live sound, uh, just setting up, mixing, and uh, actually emceeing as well. <laughs> Music to motion picture. <laughs> I've learned how to um, like create those tension and uh, not tension or whatever, whatever emotion I need to. I've learned a lot about that. Um, I've got a lot to learn about it. And um, my unit 10, I learned about like the history. So what common instruments there are and stuff like that. But I'm, I know I've got a lot more to learn. Um, and yeah, and I've learned about my career path, how to promote myself. So that's more, you know, funny and manager and stuff like that. Um, how that's going to help and I've got a lot more to learn about that because I'm not great at that but it's fine, it's alright. Um, th these are all important. Um, I'm going to be doing lots of collaborations in my FMP so that's really important. Um, my The flow of my music is going to be really important because I want the, the track list to be alright and flowing. Um, mixing and mastering is going to be really important as well uh, for obviously making the track sound good um, and yeah the writing as well as uh, what I've learned about music and motion pictures is uh, it's all very important. My research, I'm going to be researching obviously music to motion picture, this will be like watching films and stuff like that, uh, getting inspiration mainly from things in the same vein so I can sort of copy without directly copying but like getting an idea of how um, you know, uh, try and test what works, sort of thing. Uh, I need to research how to write in certain genres. Um, I think this is quite a local looking, uh, <laughs> it's quite a local show. So I think writing some like folky stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm really into my jazz at the moment. So I think I want to do a bit of that stuff. And the creator of the show, Jacob, wanted it to be quite hip hop inspired, so I'm going to do a lot of hip hop as well. So those are the three main sort of genres. I've made a playlist of loads of, you know, very influential, big, successful uh, records that are like of those two genres. Um, I've also got this video here that uh, is about, you know, uh, music to film. It's very brief, so you should get to the point. Um, I've also got this website that I want to look at, which is all about scales and jazz and stuff, which I can call back to, and that'll be that'll be good. Um, I do want to interview some people, uh, you know, for context of tracks and stuff like that. Especially Jacob, that the uh, the guy that's doing this TV show. I don't know if I've actually said yet. My FMP is I'm going to be doing the soundtrack to a TV show. Half of it's going to be. Uh, music for the actual like scenes and stuff and then I'm also going to be doing like six or more sort of like songs with uh, you know beats and stuff um, those are all going to be collaborative the scoring is going to be minute minute and a half long like references for when we actually do film this because it hasn't been filmed yet we can extend it, change it and all that uh, problem solving, problem I've had for mixing, uh, you know, I just get, if I'm, if I'm just getting sort of uh, feedback, then 
it's fine or if I leave it for a week come back to it so wrong with it. Uh, it's a really good way of doing it time management as well uh, just you know uh, making sure collaborations are done early on so I'm not having to wait uh, things like writer's block as well if I'm just mu listening to new music and stuff like that and sort of just taking inspiration from them then I should just be making music all the time and that's just really important and um, problem I think I'm going to run into is having too much to do and I think if I just do loads of the written work at home when I just got no one around me I can just get it done and then if I do all the practical collaboration work I just do that inside of college then I'll get that done quickly. We're using loads of synthesis in this uh, you know I need to work on a lot of it but yeah I want to be using a lot of synthesis talking to Jake that's I know that's what he wants a lot of. We're using different mixing techniques as well just from things I've heard and uh, things that people have told me as well, um, you know, uh, things like you can't, shouldn't widen, shouldn't have stereo and bases and stuff like that. Um, use my people skills and constructive criticism to make sure that I can sort of get get the best out of people, um, and without if I don't have the confidence to do that, it could ruin a track. So I'm making sure that I use that and my instrumentation skills using various different instruments. Um, I do need to work on, uh, sometimes the, the instruments don't work well together, but sometimes they shouldn't, but they do, and that, that can be amazing. Um, in terms of evaluation and reflection, I want to be playing my music to collaborators. I want to play it to friends and family, especially when I play it to Jacob, see what he thinks of different things. I think that's really important that I get feedback on that. Um, and obviously leaving it for a while and then coming back to it myself and listening to it, I, I can go, oh, that's too loud, that's too quiet. I don't like that phrase, it doesn't work or whatever. Um, and I want to do that every Thursday and every Monday I'm gonna plan my week. Uh, and then, you know, Monday's the longest day, so I think we'll be doing a lot of practical stuff on those days. Uh, and I know Thursday I'm just gonna evaluate this is good because um, it allows me to know what I can focus on next week and what is going well. And in terms of presentation, I'm going to have a blog that I want one page and I'm just going to have all of the weeks going through the seven sections. I, I couldn't name them off now, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what else. I don't I hope there's not anything else. Alright, I think. Context and all that. Um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. Okay. Cheers guys.